We wanted to get even more aggressive. We instructed them to start pushing each other and to give each other really menacing looks. In the aggressive nature of the dancing, some kind of flirty moments started happening. The vibe was quite different than what we were going for. Hey everyone, welcome to my brand new channel, Costa Correction. I'm super excited to be starting this channel and sharing with you so many of the projects that I've worked on with my production company, Studio Correction, and to give you a little bit of a sneak peek behind the scenes of how we create our film projects and hopefully inspire you to pick up a camera and work on your own projects. I'm particularly very excited to be talking about the intersection of dance and film and how we can create a stronger performance on set from dancers, actors, musicians and all types of creative people you might end up working with. So we're going to be doing a variety of videos but today we're gonna take a closer look at one of our studio correction projects, the music video for a song by Acrylics, the song is called Drips. This was one of our first projects all the way back in 2018 in New York City. We shot this um, particular music video on the campus of Barnard College under Columbia University where I was a student. And this was a really, really fun and dynamic and very quick project. I started working on the concept for the piece with the band Acrylics and we figured out we want to create a music video that features dancers instead of the two artists. Acrylics is a really, really cool band. They're based out of LA, New Zealand, Scotland, and they're two really great guys, my friend Andrew Matchison and Rob Atkins. So I've collaborated with Andro before, but we decided to um, work on something that features dancers in the video. So I invited six of my really close dance friends to be in the video. And we decided to make it a piece about um, competition, drive, ambition, and to really channel something that can be really dynamic to go with the really electronic music. Um, this video, because it was such a quick process, we didn't uh, preset any choreography. Everything we did on the video was movement direction that we ended up creating on set with the six really, really amazing performers. And some of the things that inspired us here were races and competition specifically, which is uh, really trending right now with TV shows like Squid Game. The very first shot that we did was the shot of the girls running up the stairs and looking up towards the camera. We instructed them to start pushing each other and to give each other like really menacing looks as they were going up the stairs in order to uh, create a sense of urgency and to give them a task that's different and more nuanced than just, you know, running up the stairs. And from there we developed these um, different concepts. We knew from the beginning that we wanted to give um, each pair of dancers a verse that would highlight them. So for the first verse we had um, Juliana and Kennedy kind of doing their solos. We filmed some slow motion moments with them. And then for the second verse we wanted to get even more aggressive. So. Um, we had Cecily and Maddie kind of going at each other's throats and uh, this was a really fun moment because in the aggressive nature of the dancing some kind of flirty moments started happening so some of those shots um, ended up in the final video shots that uh, were the vibe was quite different than what we were going for which is really cool I think with this video we were really 
open to the creative process and where it might end up going. And then from the second verse, we had all of these other tasks that we played with. The main dancer in this video is Rebecca. She's the one in the middle going through this explosion. So we filmed one really long performance take with uh, Rebecca instructing her to feel like um, she's in a pot of spaghetti and she's boiling and sizzling and going from a zero to a ten. And the other dancers also escalated quickly and then they had to bring their sizzling down but we kept Rebecca going to that hundredth degree really 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 moving very dynamically so we wanted that performance shot to kind of set up the um, energy for the whole video and then there's some really fun shots with all six girls um, lying on the floor trying to slowly get up but then collapsing every time and for that one we used a really fun prompt of um, feeling like there's a magnet on the floor and a magnet on the ceiling and the magnetic pole keeps getting stronger so it's pulling them up and then they go back down to the magnet on the floor and this was a really fun image to kind of play with and get some different movement qualities from them and from there it was a process of really playing with the edit and seeing how we can drive the story of the competition home. There's also some really, really beautiful shots of Rebecca and Morgan running towards each other and at the last minute shifting so that they don't hit each other. Those are some of my favorite shots in the video that we did in slow motion. We also played with giving each performer a chance to improvise and get inspired by how the fabric and the clothes were moving. We had a really cool makeup artist on set. Her name is Jamie Sutton, who really elevated the idea of um, the color pops and the color blocking of the costumes. And she gave each performer an eyeshadow that would complement the color pop of the outfit they had. So that really helped create this very colorful, very cool universe. And the six really, really amazing performers in this piece are Juliana Devon, Cecily Hill, Kennedy Thomas, Morgan Littlejohn, Rebecca Sausman, and Madeline Wood. And um, they were really, really professional. They um, came up ready to elevate the concept and really give it a go and see what would come out of these at first glance very simple movement tasks but you know if you dig deep you can really create a strong performance out of a really simple movement task so we're going to be sharing a few more more technical setups in the next videos but with this one i think it's a great example of just trusting your performers and just giving them a chance to explore and play and working with really great dancers it uh, makes the producer's job and the director's job that much easier so you can just worry on getting the shots you want and not giving so much uh, notes to the performers if you're curious to check out the full video you can watch it on the acrylics youtube channel and you can subscribe here for the next few videos where we'll be going in depth on some other studio correction projects thank you so much